While Mum was outside with Teddy, I went downstairs to have a chat with Kate. Wow, look how big this is. Do you tidy up down here? I clean here and I clean there. I clean everywhere. So you're just very hard working, cleaning everywhere. All matter of the fact that she was talking. And as we were communicating, I felt like I was having a conversation with a teenager. Do you get time to play with Mummy and Daddy? Daddy doesn't really play because Daddy's lazy because he wants to watch his own movies. Really? My mom plays with me, but when the boys cry, we can't play our card games. You only get to play with Mummy and Daddy when the boys are behaving well. Mm -hmm. Kate told me in a nutshell that she doesn't get any of Mum's time because she's too busy having to deal with the twins when they play up. Well, Nicholas doesn't come out of timeouts. Only, only Teddy. He doesn't understand that he has to stay in his timeout because he did something bad. All right, and are you a good girl? Do you stay in your timeout? I don't go in timeouts because I don't do anything bad. Well, that's just fantastic then. Okay, let's go upstairs. Kate's very smart and she's very mature socially and I could see those wheels turning around in her head when we were talking together. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, Joe. Bob Strong. Nice very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you How too. Are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for coming to our home. You're welcome. Just having a yeah, we good day observing that. and uh, watching. Hi, Nicholas. How you doing, buddy? Just after Dad got home, he ran out to do some errands. Be back in just a little bit. Kate was on the sofa downstairs and she was banging the bowls, Ooh. hoping that it would get Mum's attention because she was busy dealing with the boys. <laughs> no. Sweetie, here. Here's the heart. You can take a turn and Nick takes a turn. No! No kidding. That is not nice, Nicholas. Okay? That hurt Teddy. What do you say to Teddy? <laughs> What do you say to Teddy, Nicka? Yeah, but that's not nice. Do the boys bicker like this between themselves? Instead of sharing or taking turns or whatnot, they just hit instead of it. This was meant to be playtime, but the children were so bored. There's not much fun happening here. Oh, Teddy, can you give it a rest, hon, please? Let's play cars. <laughs> Kate has foot cramps, so I have to rub her feet. It didn't look like Kate was in that much pain. She looked bored. I think these foot cramps might be more about getting Mum's attention. All right. Mama. Mommy's not going to drop what she's doing every time your feet hurt. Kate, rub your own feet. Why do you think she's crying now? because of her foot cramps. She has them all the time. I'm going to go upstairs and just see Kate. It was really sad. Kate ran upstairs absolutely sobbing, and I needed to find out what the heart of this issue was. Come here. Look at Jojo. Look at Jojo. You want to have a cuddle with Mummy? And play with Mummy? And do you get much of Mummy's time? No. Why is that? Why do you think Mummy doesn't give you cuddles? Because she always plays with the boys. She told me that she just wants some love. She wants some affection from her mum. And explained how she doesn't get that because mum spends so much time with the boys. Kate, your foot, is your foot hurting you? Is it? Or or is that something that you tell mummy so that she'll give you cuddles? <laughs> what one is it? It's, it's when mummy gives me cuddles and I And admitted that she makes out that she gets foot cramps so that she can get her mum's attention. And that's just heartbreaking. <laughs> While mum was getting dinner ready, Kate was falling asleep on dad's lap. Yes, we're ready to eat. Let's get them on the table. Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's eat Din Din. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know what's coming next. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I knew she was tired, and right 
into the foot cramps, and I thought, here we go. What's wrong, Kate? After my conversation with Kate, I wanted to tell Mum and Dad there was more to this foot cramp issue than they were seeing or believing. OK, this is about bringing out the truth, OK? And her recognising that's not the way to get your attention, OK? No, you need to just try and tell me what's really bothering you, OK? I'll set the feet tighter. Sweetie, are you tired? When it's your child, you have to doubt everything. You know, I've taken her to the doctor. No, there's nothing wrong with her feet. She has enough potassium in her diet. It's nothing physical. No, well, no it's not foot cramps. Ask her what is it she would like to do. What, what is it she would like mommy to do? What do you want mommy to do? It's hard to watch a child like that. Literally, you can feel her pain. You know, I'm looking at Joe like, Joe, look oh. at her. You know, this is not faking. Can you no. breathe my feet? Oh, OK. Come here, Kate, come here, please. Kate, come here. Jojo is talking to you, OK? I know this is an issue that's difficult for mum and dad to accept, but kids will go to drastic measures to get their parents' attention. <laughs> Mummy and daddy want to spend time with you after dinner, but this temper tantrum has got to stop. If you carry on having this temper tantrum, then I will place you on the naughty <laughs> point. Do you understand me, Kate? Mm -hmm. Right, then let me see a good girl behaving herself, and when dinner is finished, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy will spend some time with you after. Please sit at the table and let's stop this behaviour. There is an element of Kate that wants to be able to tell the truth, hoping that she will receive the love and affection that she wants unconditionally without having to lie. You see, the temper tantrum has elevated itself and it's come back down again. Once Mum sat down with Dad and they started to eat, all of a sudden, Kate's cramps were gone. To see her 10 minutes later be absolutely fine, it was eye-opening. This explains so much. I brought Mum and Kate together to discuss Kate's storytelling because I feel it's an issue that Mum needs to address now. I want to discuss Kate's foot cramps. Now, she felt she had to lie because it was the only way she could get your attention and Bob's attention. And I want you to explain to her that when she does tell lies, it has an effect on other people around her. Immediately made me very uncomfortable because I just have never talked to Kate like that. I just have never said, you know, why are you lying? Kate, do you feel like you have to tell me that your feet hurt when you want mommy's attention? Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't have to do that anymore. What is that? What's she been okay. doing? Okay. If you can't say, how are you going to teach your daughter? <laughs> She's four. It's not easy looking at your four-year-old daughter and saying, you're lying, honey. And look what she has felt like she's had to do because of her intelligence. What Joe and I have just been talking about and what Joe is teaching me is how to spend my quality time with you and your brothers at the same time, OK? Mommy didn't know how to do that before really well. We don't have to make up stories anymore. At first, I was very uncomfortable, but, you know, it worked. Kate came right out and said, no, my feet didn't hurt. I just said that because I wanted mommy's cuddles or wanted mommy's attention. I mean, I was surprised. She understands the difference between the truth and, and a lie. I'm right here. You come right up. <laughs>